in Articulate Storyline, I wanted to create a checklist. So what happens is that a user will do this training course, they'll go through this section, they'll look at the induction process, the journey, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then they get to the end of the section, and they'll have a checklist. And the idea of a checklist is that they can tick each of these boxes and say that they've done it. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you this slide. So, so on the screen and they can say, yes, I understand how to do each of these sections. You can tick them appropriately. That's what I wanted. I thought it'd be quite simple. And then you say, you know, you've done it. Okay, but the problem I was encountering was that when I set this up, it originally had that, you know, you've got the wrong answer, you know, it's, it's a form view, you must tick one of those as being correct, and so forth. And it's like, well, I didn't want them to be correct. I'm happy for the user to say that they didn't understand something. That's not a problem, but it wasn't going to let me do that. So let me show you from the very beginning how I did this. So I'll go to a new section here, and I'll right click, I'll go to new slide, content library, and I'll go to quizzing down the bottom here. And in quizzing, I want this pick many. So this is the one that I've used. You'll recognize this straight away. So here we go. This is the pick many. Okay, so it looks the same, but it's obviously got more text on it because it's from the original template. But notice down the bottom, we've got try again, sorry, and congrats or congratulations. And also in the form view, you know, that's the correct answer. Well, like I say, I don't want that to be a correct answer. So what you need to do, in form view, untick that. That's the first thing to do. Also, you can, if you've been really vigilant, you can change the points down the bottom here to zero. If we go back to slide view, I'm gonna delete try again, because we don't want them to try again, because it's not an actual quiz or exam that I'm doing. I'm gonna delete the one that says sorry, or the one that says they got it wrong as well, and we're just gonna leave congrats. Now. With congrats again, we're gonna we can edit that as well because it's not about the answer being correct. You know, it's it's just you know thanks for a response. So it's um, you could say rather than congrats, you could say thank you. Whatever you wanted, you know. Obviously, edit this bit as well. Now, if I was to do this now, it wouldn't work because it's still wanting me to pick a answer which is correct. What we need to do is focus on the submit button, okay? So the submit button is a little tick button or the button that says submit when you're answering the question. So instead of being submit, we want it, so rather than that, we want it to show layer and the layer being this layer here, which I've changed to thank you, but it was congrats, when the user clicks submit. And now let's test it out and see if it actually works. So I'm going to preview this slide. Now the user can toggle these as they want. And then they're going to click on that button. It shows the layer that says thank you. You click continue. And if I had it all set up, it would take me to the next slide. So that is how you can create a checklist in here, which is essentially a quiz question, but doesn't actually record results and doesn't require a correct answer. Okay, so this is a uh, really a checklist for the person's learning to say, yes, I understand these bits. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel. I create lots of useful videos on uh, Articulate Storyline along with other IT training. Like the video, thank you very much and um, happy creating checklists that don't record answers and don't tell you that you got the answer wrong.